Zera in the Staffordstown Stud Stakes. Group three for two-year-old fillies has run over a mile. Fiona McCool in the white jacket just leads Will and in the blue cap Island Hopping, followed by Stable Companion and Candy and Soto Bed moves up on the outside, followed by Sir Sene and Celtic Motive as they race in the still early stages. And Whale moves on in front by a couple of lengths to Fiona McCool, Island Hopping just third from Sir Senny and then and Soda Bed and Celtic Motive and famed again in Min Candy. Two thirds of the way down the field is Giselle and then Coca Pabana Sands and Jalea. In the lead by under three lengths with five to run is Whale and Wayne Lorton, followed by Fiona McCool and Shane Foley as they head down towards the halfway stage. They're really starting to stack up now. Then Island Hopping and Ronan Whelan and so to bed on the outside. Running the rail is Sersenny and then Celtic Motive and Giselle, famed again. Min Candy has lost her pitch, is now near to the back with Copacabana, Sands and Jalea. Their heads turn for home, three furlongs to run. The Staffordstown stud stakes and it is well with a reduced advantage over Fiona McCool. Then Sersenny, who's trying for a run up the rail. Then and so to bed, followed by Island Hopping, Celtic Motive and Copacabana, Sands and Giselle in the middle of the track. Inside the final furlong and a half and it's well still in front from Anso to bed and Celtic Motive who are bearing down. Here on the outside is Giselle gone on from Sir Senny and Ireland hopping. It's still well from Anso to bed Celtic Motive and Giselle. Anyone of four. Less than a hundred yards to go. Well on the inside of Anso to bed. Well tenaciously has fought them all off in the Staffordstown stud from Anso to bed Celtic Motive, Giselle and Ireland hopping right on their coattails. Yes, welcome back to the Curra. Wayne Lord and joins me now with the winning our feature event, the Group 3 Staffordstown Stakes on World. Well done, really good attitude. Yeah, she's a gorgeous filling. She ran a lovely race here the first day um, behind Ballet Slippers was third and I was fourth and she's Group 1 placed. And then she went to York and she took on Colts and she ran a reasonably good race and then she went to Doncaster and I thought she won well and she's a gorgeous filling. She's just one of those goes long behind the bridle but when you need her she finds plenty. And you did. Did Declan momentarily head you? Yeah, he did. My one wanted to do so, but when Declan joined me, it helped me. Even my one had a look at the big screen and rolled out off it. But um, no, it was a help to me because she just does what she has to do, but she finds plenty. And you were keen, obviously, to go forward on her. You knew she'd stay well. I'd say she'll only improve when she steps further up and trip. Yeah, I would think she's going. To, she does stay well and she will improve when she goes up and trip. She's a gorgeous big filly. And I was anxious. I knew she'd have no problem going along. and. When I got challenged, she'd find plenty, so it's a bit easier when you're doing it that way than trying to make up the ground, so um, it worked nice today. Definitely, coming out of stall too as well, you wanted to utilise that good draw. Yeah, from especially on, on, on the round round here, it's a, it, it is an advantage, mm. so um, no, everything worked perfect. Good stuff, uh, she's only going to keep on improving, isn't she? I think so, she's a fine big range of filly, and I think she'll improve plenty from two to three. Yeah, good stuff, finally ground on the round compared to the straight? Yeah, it, it felt soft, it's, you know, it's not bad, but it's just soft ground, so look, it is what it is, and... It could be a lot worse. You're happy anyway, well done. I'm happy anyway. <laughs> Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.